I've been interested in painting some pteranids for a while now, and with Leviathan dropping just the other day, it was the perfect opportunity to get started. Looking what's in the box, I couldn't help but get excited over building some of these bigger models, but I decided to rein it in and get used to painting Tyranids with the infantry units. How hard could it be? So I started cutting out and building the Termagants, and progress was surprisingly quick. Build one, easy. Two, no problem. Five, I got you covered. But no. Twenty. Two zero. I spent my afternoon building twenty of these things. I have now officially built more Tyranids than all of my other minis combined in one day. I was clearly going to need to use a different approach to painting these guys than what I was used to, or I'd never get these finished. That's where Slap Chop comes in. It's hardly a new technique at this point, but I was interested in it nonetheless, so let's get right into how it works. The point of Slap Chop is to enable you to paint a large number of minis in a relatively short time frame, and the first step to that is to dry brush the minis to build depth. First, we start off with a somewhat heavy grey coat. The goal here isn't to cover the mini completely, but instead to pick out the more raised areas to help simulate the highlights and shadows. As I work my way around the mini, I deliberately brush against the ridges of the carapace in order to create some distinct highlights. Now, for the second part, we're going to introduce a lighter dry brush of a lighter paint. I started off with Citadel Grey Sear, so now I'm introducing Citadel's Corax White. Here, we repeat the process, this time only targeting the especially raised sections for some super bright highlights. And so with our first one done in just a few minutes, let's move on to doing the rest. Alright, so I've just finished base coating them all, so it's time to bring them all to life with some contrast paints. Now this right here is the core of Slap Chop and what makes it work so well. Since we've built up our definition ahead of time with the grey and white dry brush, now all we need to do is tint this base coat with the relatively translucent contrast paints. I want my Tyranids to have a shiny black bug-like shell, with the flesh underneath being a greenish brown like grubs. So to that end, I start off by using Black Legion for the carapace. I then start coming through with Snakebite Leather, which I thin down using Contrast Medium for the fleshy bits. My contrast paints were drying up too quickly on my texture palette, so I swapped over to the wet palette. One thing I became aware of while using this technique was that you need to be a fair bit more careful than usual when applying the contrast paint, because since you're just tinting what's underneath, it can be quite difficult to fix any mistakes that you might make.
Here I use a fairly dilute mix of Galiman flesh for the gun and apply Ushabti bone to the teeth, claws and other bony parts. Then I'd do the tongue in Blood Angel's Red and also apply it to the eyes and several other parts of the gun and body for accent. And just like that, our first slap chop termagant is more or less done. The carapace is a bit more matte than I had hoped for, so we'll revisit that at the end to bring out the highlights. Next, I tried whipping up another one just like the first, but this time with a slightly more dilute mix of Black Legion on the carapace. It worked out a bit better than the first one, but I realized that painting them one at a time would be way too time consuming, so I opted to change it up and paint the rest assembly line style. And so now the next few minutes will be a time lapse of the process. After about an hour, I've finished the first part and I'm ready to move on to the carapaces.
Finally, I come through with a very light dry brush of grey sear to pick out the highlights on the carapaces. And here's the final result. The paint job is definitely not of the same standard that I could have achieved if I'd painted them normally, but the amount of time spent per model was definitely worth it for these rank and file units. I can't imagine how long it would have taken to paint these guys if I hadn't used slap job. I must say that I feel like the organic shapes of the Tyranid models really do lend themselves to slap job, and models like Tau or Space Marines might not work as well. Overall though, I'm super happy with Slap Drop as a technique, and I will definitely be using it again where I can. Let me know what you think down below. If you've got any suggestions on other ways to paint heaps of minis quickly, I'd love to hear about them. Like the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you like what I do. Until next time.